Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome back to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look into Ethereum. So as you can see I'm back in my apartment so let's go straight into the content my friends. Here in the four hour time frame you can see that Bitcoin had this successful breakout to the upside above our resistance here of around $59,000 and right now we are on the way to fight this 62,000 all-time high that we have for now. So if this is going to be the pump that will take us towards new all-time highs, maybe yes, but since we are now in the weekend, I think that we shouldn't give too much significance on those pumps or dumps that we are seeing during weekends when traditional markets are closed. But of course, it would be very bullish if we are able to go and create new all-time highs during this weekend. Then maybe have a new CME gap below of us and then of course continue the pump towards new all-time highs and towards our bullish targets between 75 to 100k. So there is a chance that here we're gonna see follow through, but keep in mind that the CMEs closed on Friday at around 59k. So most of the times we are retracing back to those levels as soon as we open again the CMEs, otherwise we're gonna have a new CME gap. So keep that in mind. And of course, also here in the lower time frames, it looks like that we could be in here for a pullback very soon. We still should have some few left to the upside after we bottomed out here at the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame and then started this pump. Also after we got here a buy signal in my indicator and right now everything is looking like that we will be going higher here very soon even though we could see another pullback to retest maybe this $59,000 this previous resistance trend line which now should be acting as a new support and this is also coinciding where the CME is closed on Friday so that's why in my opinion it's very likely that maybe latest tomorrow we are coming down to retest this 59k and then hopefully have a big bounce to the upside because we are back in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see very clear the ascending triangle and of course we should expect here a breakout pretty soon we shouldn't enter too much into the wedge of this pattern because usually that means that the chance to break out to the downside is more likelier than breaking out to the upside so in this region where we are right now, we should expect here a breakout to the upside. If we are staying too long in this ascending triangle, then in my opinion, there is a very high chance that we even could break out here to the downside. And then of course, we are in for a major correction. But currently everything is looking like that we could get this breakout to the upside very soon. We are having right now a confirmed buy signal here in the spot chart. So here on this chart, we're looking extremely bullish. We're trading again above all the important moving averages averages also yesterday we closed above the nine daily moving average and that's why we have now this confirmed buy signal and also we are trading now again above the nine daily moving average and it's turning back into green so i'm leaning very much to the bullish side for this coming week my friends even though of course this breakout now is happening during the weekend but in my opinion we will see follow through to the upside during this coming week and most likely also through the whole month of April and maybe even May. And also if we compare it to the CME chart, you can see that here as well, we are trading right at the nine daily moving average and also here a breakout is imminent. And here we got yesterday a buy signal, but it wasn't confirmed, of course, because today the CMEs are not trading. But as soon as the CMEs are opening again, we should have this buy signal confirmed and therefore also here see a breakout above this resistance that we still have here at around 59k and then hopefully reach our targets which we can easily measure here with this ascending triangle that we have. So let's do a conservative measurement from this uh, bottom that we had here at around 44K up to the main resistance, let's say here at around $58,000. So if we do here conservative measurement, so let's pull this line up here at $58,000. Let's say we're gonna break out here. This would take us at around $72,000. So very close to the previous support 
support which now should be acting as a new resistance so in my opinion there is a very high chance that here we could push very easily towards 70k and then we're gonna have to see what will happen at this price level up here because this previous trend line in my opinion is still very important and once this is getting broken the next target would be to reach the next resistance here at around 84k and only if this is getting broken then in my opinion we're gonna see a blue sky breakout and that could fire us up towards 100k maybe even higher but those two are the main resistances that we have for now if we're gonna see here follow through in these next coming weeks here in the Bitcoin price and I'm very bullish here for the next coming weeks and that's why I'm expecting to reach at least the 70k and potentially even $80,000 before maybe we're gonna start a pullback or getting a blow off top but those two price levels are going to be very important if here we're gonna see an explosive move to the upside because if those two are getting broken then we're gonna see the Bitcoin price very easily towards 100k maybe even higher so you see my friends that I'm still expecting here a breakout to the upside but as long as we are not breaking out here and creating new all-time highs above 62k I still would wait to enter high leveraged long positions because there is still the chance that we could even break out to the downside but in my opinion it's very much likely here that we're gonna see follow through to the upside because Bitcoin is still looking extremely bullish I know there are some indicators like the P cycle top indicator that is suggesting that maybe we could get a local top very soon but don't forget in 2013 with the first local top that we got Bitcoin had even a 100% gain after that signal flash so we could see something similar exactly also with this local top here that after that signal is flashing that we could even double in the price so that means that we could easily then reach 100k maybe even 120k before we are entering into a, a massive uh, correction which in my opinion wouldn't take us below the 20 weekly moving average and that weekly moving average is also rising time by time and it's right now here at around 40k so if we're gonna moonshot towards 100k my opinion it's not bad to take at least a little bit of profits just in case that one day we are coming down to retest the 20 weekly moving average which right now is at 40k but otherwise if you have some cash on the sideline then just buy Bitcoin and hodl my friends because for the long term we are anyway going towards way higher levels than that and you should consider to take all kind of bigger corrections as a very good buy opportunity also for the long term not only for the short term and now let's have a look also into ethereum my friends because also here we are looking extremely bullish we are again above the nine daily moving average so also here if we are able to maintain the support at around 2050 dollars we should see here follow through towards our bullish target of around 2500 dollars i still think that that target is still valid here after this breakout from the symmetrical triangle and in the four hour time frame we are back in an uptrend and we could form here these descending broadening wedge and if here we're gonna have a breakout to the upside that measurement target is also here at around 2500 dollars so also ethereum is looking extremely bullish right now and you should consider also to diversify into some altcoins especially ethereum because here in, i'm also still very bullish and since the bitcoin dominance is still falling we are currently at around 56 percent the chances that Ethereum and also some other altcoins could outperform Bitcoin with these next big pumps that are incoming are very high. So be diversified right now into some alts, especially in Ethereum, in my opinion, is not a bad idea. I always hold some Ethereum, so I am already prepared for that scenario that Ethereum could outperform Bitcoin. So if you are all in in Bitcoin, then think about maybe also to put a little bit of money into Ethereum, because I think also in Ethereum for the long term, you should be doing very fine. And here we could expect very explosive moves to the upside incoming very, very soon. But for now Ethereum is still in this descending broadening wedge and I think here in the lower time frames we still could come back down to retest the support here of around $1,900 to $2,000 
but overall here also i'm expecting very soon a breakout to the upside and then meet our target that we have here at around 2500 dollars so the conclusion for this video my friends is that most likely we are entering into some very bullish weeks and months here and you should be already loaded up with enough ethereum and bitcoin here for these next coming weeks and months because i think we're gonna see big explosive moves to the upside and if you want to trade this with leverage over on Bybit and Femex, then make sure to use my referral links to open up an account there because you will get some extra bonus, extra money and all you support the channel. If you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, then try out PrimeXPT because here we have a unique co-vesting feature where you can just sign up to this exchange without KYC, nothing, just top up some Bitcoin and then you can just easily follow other successful traders and like this you can all also gain some passive money if you catch the right traders so try out prime xpt like this you can also do some passive income of course and as usual a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our discord community then make sure to use the official link that you find here in the description with this invitation link you have free access to the trading chat you just have to go here to read first then click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot like this you have free access here and if you also want to get this live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to contact me here with a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the live stream otherwise you can also just get here a youtube membership like this you also have free access to the discord trading chat so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye